National Prosecuting Authority head advocate Shamila Bato, he says it's business as usual for prosecutors, despite what the executive may do. She was responding to a question in Parliament today about the possibility of a presidential pardon for Fees Must Fall activist Kanye Kakeshe. Bato, he and her team appeared before the Justice Portfolio Committee today to present their annual report. Abra Barbier is our reporter who was in Parliament for that today. She's with us now. Abra, good evening to you. How does advocate Bato, he describe the situation within the National Prosecuting Authority and specifically morale within the NPA. Stephen, very good evening to you as well. So in terms of morale, she says, yes, the, the high vacancy rate, um, the very long hours that prosecutors have to put in as a result of them being understaffed, um, that has impacted on the morale of um, her prosecutors. Um, obviously, they do have a massive funding issue. And on the point of funding, a question was raised about private funding and the advocate made it very clear that this is a route that they will continue to pursue, obviously within, uh, in line with the PFMA, with, in line with um, what Treasury says. She gave various examples of government departments and projects who do seek private funding in order for them to carry on with, with their tasks and their projects. And she said that the reason why they specifically want to pursue uh, private funding as well is because she described the entire criminal justice system as being in a state of, of dysfunction. She said there's a massive problem within the criminal justice system. And for this very reason, they need the funding to use more innovative methods, to find more innovative methods. They need innovation within the various sectors of criminal justice to be able to enhance their various jobs, to be able to combat crime adequately. So funding was a big, um, is a big issue for, for um the NPA, and she she did um, raise this while presenting her annual report in the committee today. Stephen? President Sir Ramaphosa was talking in London this week. He said the fuse had been lit, prosecutions would happen. Are there various sectors in society who are pushing for the NPA to act against people who've been named in the Zondo Commission and other places? Did she have any comment about that, the pressure that she might be under to lodge prosecutions against people? No, she didn't. That that didn't come up. She will be giving an update tomorrow to Scopa on a various um, high-profile cases that they are pursuing. She did say high-priority cases as well as sexual offences cases are obviously at the top of the agenda. She never made any specific comments about um, being under any kind of pressure. This is a lady who doesn't seem to come across as somebody who's going to crumble in the face of any kind of critique or... or um, or pressure. She's really, she's really tough. And from what I saw today, she's, um, she's, she's cut out for what she's doing. I mean, she had solid answers for the, to the committee. So no, she never spoke about any pressure that they are facing. She came across as being very confident in her, in her answers. And she says, despite um, the, the credibility crisis and issue, which the NPA has gone through in recent years, things are slowly starting to turn around. And she's very impressed with what her team has been doing up to now, despite the resourcing issue. The story, the question she was asked about Kanye Kakesha, the fees must fall activist, the uh, justice minister tweeting yesterday that he would help, he would help to uh, prepare for a presidential pardon. Yeah, that doesn't seem to phase her. Very diplomatic indeed. She started out by uh, lauding um, the Justice Minister Lamola. She said he's very committed to what he does. He's really invested in terms of his mandate. She says that what he said yesterday isn't something that he hasn't said before. And she, in fact, the question to her, posed to her by the MP on this on this um, this issue was. Did his tweet yesterday, how does it impact on the morale of her prosecutors? Um, and she said, it doesn't, because they have a job to do, and they will not be deterred from doing their job, despite anything that any member of the executive says or does, because they know what their task is, and that is to be servants to the people and to try to carry out justice to the best of their ability. So no, she says the minister is within his rights to say what he said, and um, that they will just carry on with their jobs as normal. Abra Barbia, thank you very much indeed in Parliament for you tonight with the latest on that story.